Good morning, retail traders. I want to kind of give you a format where I think we are right now and where we were last week. Last week, I think we were at the capitulation part. Now, I think we're going to be in the discouragement part of the fear mongering that's going to go on here this week during the uh, debt ceiling bill. So, there's going to be plenty of opportunities to buy the dip. I take advantage of it. Look for yesterday's lows. Look for some kind of pattern for a breakout is how I'd probably trade this week like we did last week. Last week was a great week for me. And we're just going to pull up a couple charts here. We'll start with the SPX. Now, this is the weekly time frame. We did bounce off the 200 down here, and I mentioned that when we had the three black crows right here and we had the, the nice little long leg uh, inverse hammer and then it reversed to the upside. Now we're breaking out of a resistance level and we're in an upward trend and we can go higher, we can go up higher and higher. I'm going to show you where I think resistance is by pulling up, let's go this way. I'm going to draw a line right here off the body of this candle. I like getting out of the trades during the heat. And we'll bring it all the way down to the bottom of this one right here. Whoop, missed it up. I gotta redo it. Do, 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 do. Let's try it one more time. Boom. Bam, there it is. So our resistance level is going to be this top right here. We're going to draw a trend line across that. Right there. Somewhere in this channel is going to be our resistance for the pullback. And that'll be a double top. And that's on the SPX. Now this is an upward channel and it's also could be called, well, almost an ascending triangle. But it's definitely an upward bullish channel. And if it pulls back no lower than that 65 EMA on the weekly, this could easily drop back down because of the bill and the fear and hit that 65 and then bounce right back up and then have a breakout. Or we can continue on up and find resistance and then pull back. But that's going to be your double top. I still think we have more room to go to the upside. So far, everything I've seen last week, Everybody was so fear and bearish, but yet I was definitely, I traded it perfect last week. Just got to keep that bullish. It's a bullish looking chart. There's no doubt in my mind. That's the SPX, no matter how much fear is going on. SPY, same way. Nice, beautiful breakout. This is a bullish pattern. We're going to do the same kind of chart. Bounced off the 200 with your three black crows your inverted hammer hangman and then spinning top and she bounces on up so we found resistance on this one too now this one might have let's go to the other drawing here bam and right back down here same kind of we're almost we hit resistance last week triple top one two three so she could, she could pull back two in the fear mongering in that 414 area off the 65 if it doesn't hold the nine. Now this is on the weekly time frame, so that's all I'm going to look at today. Just use the weekly candles. Then I'm going to come back and kind of run through them again later on tonight. But the SPY did hit resistance last week, and it could pull back if it does not hold the nine at here right around 410. 66 and hit that 65 same resistance level will be this here double top we're at 427.91 if it breaks this resistance on this trend line okay so that's the spy and then we got the IWM now this is bearish it's definitely due to, to go to the upside. So I'd keep a good eye on IWM today. 
and see if it breaks that nine on the weekly. Now I am going to pull up, I like this chart because it's a bottom play, but if you look at the last three days of last week, we had a nice little breakout. So it could get hit 180 and then pull back. We did break the 65. So yeah, this one here is a good one to keep on watch. We did start the breakout last week. And we could have one more candle to the upside if we break this resistance here at the double top. And that's the IWM. This has a lot more room to climb. Especially the signing of the bill. You got your triple top right here. So it could easily run up and hit that 179.57 and find some kind of resistance. And that's the IWM. So that's a real good looking chart for bottom play if we have a continual bull run this week. We did break out of the expansion pattern on the QQQ last week. We were above it most of the week and then we had the last two days, Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, we had the breakout with a new high Friday on a consolidated period. Now I'm going to look at the weekly. We had a nice breakout of the pattern. We did break the double top resistance on it too. Now the QQQ has been very strong and outspoken. Uh, it could easily pull back to the top of that expansion pattern that I had there. And we'll look at it on the 20 day. If it wanted to, it pulled back and hit that 200 on the one hour time frame and find a real solid support and then bounce up off that. So I'd set me alert right around there. just in case it does pull back and you'll have that opportunity well that's it i can't wait to see how the market opens up here at the bell so far i'm gonna hold it uh i think the dips are by so we'll see you later have a great day retail traders